let's see if we can launch this bastard. This bastard of a craft. Sail has power at least. We'll put the poodle here and then the mainsail here, obviously. Okay, so plan is this engine fires, then we decouple this engine fires, then we decouple and this engine fires, and so on and so forth. up the very final stage like after everything else has spoken okay uh, challenger 4 yeah it's a pretty radical redesign now we're gonna add boosters and stuff but I just want to see if this goddamn thing will stand up because I don't know what's causing it to fuck don't explode okay it doesn't explode it's what the fuck? Why is it doing that? Dunbar's getting buffeted. Okay, stability assistance system. The wobble has gotten worse. What the fuck is the problem? Whatever, throttle up the mainsail. Oh shit. Going full throttle on the mainsail basically destroys the craft. Wow! Oh my god! Look at the fucking thing! Also, the mainsail is a suicidal thing to have on your craft anyway. Oh, Jesus! Oh, what is the... what is causing that? Oh my god... Dunbar, you are right to fear. You are right to fear because I can't figure out why this thing hasn't broken apart already. The stress of stage separation may very well be all this thing needs to rip itself apart. Jesus, she's nosing down. Okay. This thing has thrusters on it, right? I think I forgot to put the thrusters on. Okay. Um. Okay, clear away. Next stage. Okay, the next stage is much more stable. It's much more... Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? That mainsail. No, 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 no. Not mainsail. Full throttle. Not the full throttle. Oh Jesus. We're descending. Though. Oh God, we're caught in gravity. The mainsail's not in. Oh, that's not a mainsail. Oh. In that case, we should probably full throttle it. The impulse is... Oh, Jesus. Prepare to separate stages. Those are down and separate stages. Okay, can this thing fly? This is a fucking disaster. The thing can't get the nose. Come on. Okay. This is obviously not what we wanted to happen. 
let's at least test I don't know how far the, the thing will go I don't know this thing never overheats even when you shove it on full throttle now of course the thrust is so do we need well that explains that I didn't notice uh Will both of these have to be mains? Actually, I just don't know. Okay, clear away. Next stage. Okay, that flight plan we just took was a uh, ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. I guess we're executing, we almost executed something that could be called a gravity turn. Okay, final stage. Okay, what the fuck happened here? Oh, it's because these things aren't even. Separate stages. There we go. Bye. Did that run out of fuel already? Whatever. That's not a bad height. Um, if this was our first goddamn attempt. Yeah, the, the physics warp thing is is batch hit ludicrous it may cause the parachute to rip off for literally no reason so when we get to the time for deployment okay, there we go now watch sometimes it'll destroy the craft like um uh, well, Dunbar's loving it at least. Alright, there we go. We splash down. Now we can kind of rotate it so that we're. So, thoroughly humiliated, we will turn. Hmm. What is it that causes this to be so ungodly unstable? And is there something we can do? Well, there is something we can do. We can space tape it. Not really anything we can. Ah, the engines. It keeps messing with the symmetry. Um, also, this. Second engine apparently does need to be a mainsail in order to have sufficient thrust. Things were uh, batshit ludicrous, but I mean, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, we'll we'll give this thing a proper flight. Although using the boosters with the decouplers is very annoying to get it done properly. The thing is, that looks like it's done properly. But you just know. It's probably doing this that's screwing everything up. 
Oh, this thing is gonna be an abomination. This thing is a mistake. I can't see past the boosters. Okay, that's that's not actually perfect, but it's yeah. Let's tape it together and see where it goes. Magical places, surely. Okay, we space tape it here, and then we space tape each of this to the central bit. And we space tape it this all together. That doesn't really go. Okay! Uh, <laughs> Oh, what is my life? What am I doing? This is a lot of fun. It's doubtless painful for anyone who knows what they're doing, but I mean, that's been true of a lot of my LPs. Okay, uh... Now see, now see! What the fuck even happened? I was kind of hoping to fire those boosters off anyway. What the fuck even? Dunbar's freaking out, although he'll probably chill out in a moment. What happened? Ah, the flight data will be of no help. Structural failure on linkage between Rocco Max mainsail liquid engine and Rocco Max fuel tank. Wait. Wait. Ah. Uh... God damn it. Okay. Is it the big ass tank of RCS fuel? Also, we need to put thrusters on it. This probably won't get us into an orbit, but it'll make us feel better about ourselves, I suppose. Although there's also that flaw with the engines. Are we need to, gonna need to put... You could put four. I don't really see a reason to not do that. God, even with the symmetry mode, I suck. That's gonna deplete the fuel incredibly quickly. Okay, uh... Okay, it'll decouple and then... Huh. Let's try this configuration and see how it works out.
Don't explode on the pad. Don't explode on the pad, you son of a bitch. Okay. Why can't I move the camera? The camera controls are not answering to me. The keyboard isn't... What? Oh, I managed to glitch the program. Yeah, something's fucked. And I can't escape out. Ah. Okay, let's try the thing that fucked us up. If I can reach... I can't reach high enough. Abort. No, no control. I don't know what the fuck is... Is this thing overcorrecting? It's possible the SAS unit is overcorrecting badly. In fact, it may even... That may even be the case. We'll see how stable it is once we separate stages. But I'm just... I'm going back to basics, because apparently I don't actually know how to fucking design a rocket. Certainly not a large rocket. That was a decently sized payload. Okay, we clear away. Throttle up to max on the poodle. Reset the SAS just in case, and we just see how much we can get burning straight up. We start, we started with a bit of a head start in this situation, and as you can see, the poodle drains the fuel so much less. This thing can probably get into an orbit, I think. Maybe, because the thing is, it's draining... Actually, we are decelerating at this point. The poodle is not actually enough thrust to get us where we need to go. Which is, um... That's a... Pr okay, we're slowly gaining speed. But, like, the poodle... I'm pushing the poodle to the, to the limit. Alright, we're finally accelerating, because we're starting to get out of the atmosphere. But you can see, let's time warp a little bit and hope it doesn't rip the craft apart somehow. Like that, like that, look. Look, what the fuck was that? Look, 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 it starts getting really wobbly at that time distortion. But we're about to reach where the other craft got, even with the extra thing on it. That... What is that? What is that we're seeing? Is that... That can't actually be the moon, because it'd be bigger. That should be somewhere in the sky, too. Yeah, there's the moon. Right over there. That might be... No, Minmus isn't in that place yet, is it? It actually is. We could be... Perhaps seeing Minmus. The point is, if we wanted to establish an orbit on this, we might be able to do it. And the sun rises. And we've kept her relatively stable. We can actually get a number on our fuel. Now we're gaining speed rapidly, yeah. I think we'll, we'll be just short of breaking orbit with this, but we've gotten, uh, just say, twice as far as the other design by adding on this second stage. Now this is, this is real basic rocketry that we're learning together, everybody. Well, I'm learning, certainly, but whatever. That's kind of pretty. But, like, that's... 
basically to be clear of the atmosphere you need like a hundred thousand is the minimum but of course we're burning straight up at full throttle because that's how it goes but basically we've reached orbital space we don't have enough to widen our orbit now with the poodle poodle's kind of a pathetic engine It'd be better if we started out here where we didn't need quite as much raw thrust power. 94, 95 kilometers. Now look at the distance. Look at the sheer distance we're getting because we're getting so much speed. Yeah, we'll reach orbital space. We won't actually be able to establish an orbit though. As you can see. But like before the engine gives out. get up there. Got past 400,000. So you can see, obviously, staging is generally the way to go, but this thing will, in fact, eventually come back to Kerbin. Is there a reason to separate stages? Let's... Why not? I'm sure there's a reason why not, but because for some reason it isn't sometimes. Okay, it doesn't just immediately blow up, that's nice. We'll throttle up to about half, because that's about what the mainsail will do safely. Okay now what the fuck? Mainsail's left off. Now see it wobbles like this. What happens if we take a oh it just knows it's done. Okay. Well, bomb in the way then. We let's only hope. Why is it doing that? Is there a way by which I might instruct it to stop doing that? Okay, now this we get tons and tons of lift. Because obviously we've added a bunch of weight, but we've added a bunch of engines to it. Boosters, yep. Uh, these did not clear away, so that's a problem. This thing won't have the power to boost us up, I think. Or it'll. T the mainsail will have just enough power. So, uh, this demonstration kind of went off. Because the mainsail is having to lift all this bullshit. And basically just give the dead weight a free walk, a free ride. Now we're just not gonna have enough fuel. Okay, god damn it. Decouplers have always sucked for me. Okay, but we got to this height before we had to separate, right? Still above what Okay, SAS is not accounting for the spin. I don't know why it's not. Whatever. Now see, look. What is this? And why is it happening? I see from in here it doesn't seem like such a bad thing, although it's probably like torture. Okay, yeah, that looks that looks slightly unsettling. Calm down, okay. It's still wobbling. Can't work faster than one times one when it's throttled up, I don't know. Okay, that's kinda cool. Yeah. We could even navigate using this thing if we really felt like it. is this thing probably not make an orbit either 
Maybe if we'd stopped burning sooner. But let's fall upon... Okay, we've actually rotated, so... I still... Like, for instance, for the gravity turn and stuff... I'm not sure... And this rotation is super annoying. Okay, fuck it, let it reorient itself like that. As we're supposed to turn to 90 degrees, as far as I can determine. Why is the SAS not doing anything about that? And someone does a Skype thing for me. Not interested at the moment. Okay. Now we turn like this, right? Settle her in about here. And then begin to burn. And we're widening our orbit right here. Yep, so if we were straight, it would be giving us a straight orbit. But since we're eccentric, it's giving us an eccentric orbit. This is actually not the place to do that. In terms of fuel efficiency, like we're probably not going to make orbit with this... With this freaking thing, but we can... Try, if we burn up here, it's the most efficient use of our fuel. And you can see the poodle desperately firing, and that's basically... Like, that's how we do orbit. Pretty much. This thing probably won't have enough fuel to make it. If, if it does, then there'll be no fuel for these poor carbonats to get home. So we actually kind of don't want it to do that. I want, actually, the poodle seems very fuel efficient. We might bust an orbit with that thing. It'll be close though, but that's basically how you do it. Yeah, I'll put you guys in a spin. In fact, let's just go completely bonkers, shall we? Shall we dance? Okay. What's the opposite of our center of motion? We don't have much time to figure that shit out. Uh, whatever. Let's just point skyward and burn until we see lines. Not that the poodle will do terribly much, but we can decelerate some. The atmosphere will take care of some of that for us, of course. We are, of course, falling rapidly. Actually, yeah, it's time to cut, cut it loose. Cut loose and get low. Get low, get low. Now this may cause the parachute to break off for no reason. Because physics warp will do that sometimes for, once again, no reason. Okay, we're past the terminal. And there we go. Now we're happy! Okay. God. Fucking. Okay. Okay. I just want a thing that makes... This wasn't badass enough. We will need both. We'll need both sides. Because both sides got something to say. Okay, this lot should just about get her done. But then, like, mounting them... Look, look. How am I gonna... Is that how I do it? That looks straight. Finlets are not, however. Was I just in the wrong mode or some shit? Whatever. 
that looks much more likely to give us what we like. So, okay. I can't even do a proper demonstration, but... First stage, D6 fire. Then, detach, and this one fires immediately. Then detach, this one fires. Then det Wait a second. Oh, this one thinks it's special. You're not special, maggot. There we go. Let us demonstrate again. This would be much easier if we used a smaller craft. <clears throat> but easy is not the name of the game. Okay, we're seeing a little less instability. Burn! And by a little less instability, I mean holy fucking shit. Shit's break in orbit. <laughs> it's... Oh man. There's the parachute. <sighs> so, another important lesson we use the structural, whatever it's called, space tape, the strut connector. Allowing for sturdier and heavier construction. Now hopefully if I do this, it'll connect everything, and everything will be good. And just for good measure, we'll connect them all to the central body as well. There we go. <gasps> I'm literally... This is going to be important though. We're using liquid boosters for the whole thing, for the whole shipment. Did I have to unfuck the staging? Actually, no, this is good. And. Oh, gentlemen, look at that. It's no longer fucking itself up. a rotation to us. The SAS will correct for that, however. Now, this is far past the place to do a gravity turn, but we're going to do a ghetto gravity turn, like, around here, everybody. We come to 90 degrees. 90 degrees, didn't, yeah, heading of 90 degrees. I can't get it but, then we turn in literally the opposite direction. Son of a bitch. But you can see what it does to our orbit. Anyway, so that stage is done. Next, the poodle. We're trucking around less mass, though. Matter of fact, let's just kill the burn and get ourselves reoriented. Come to heading 90. Fuck. 
Still working on them controls. Come to heading. Come to heading 90. It's safer here. Okay, okay. So, like... I don't know, here. Then burn. It essentially expands your orbit. Like that. Matter of fact, we can just cut burning here. We'll make orbit with this, even though this was the sloppiest flight ever and I managed to nose down the craft. Ah. <sighs> KSPS Triumph is passing in the sky overhead. Probably not near enough for us to actually see. There's... Can you believe we got to the moon? Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. Okay, but actually... We should really be... Like, down here. About here, lock it in. Rotate it so we unfuck ourselves and commence the burn. The slow burn. Okay, is there a, is there an easy way to get this goddamn roll rotation down? Okay, what's that doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we'll make orbit probably doing this. Once again, it will not be what we call pretty. We've actually... We actually should have started burning a little while ago. That's gonna cost us. But the poodle can get the job done. And we will, in fact, make orbit. Ah. Well, then, of course, there's designing a big-ass lander that'll work. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll figure something out. This thing doesn't care about roll or something. Okay. That's close enough to what I want. Let's try going up here and seeing what that does to our orbit. It expands it. So let's rename the vessel, classify it as debris. Yeah, that's more suitable. Dildon and Rich C are not happy about that. But you can see we are kind of fucking up the orbit by like a lot, but uh. You can see it'll happen if we continue to burn. I don't want to get to orbit yet, though. Once again, we'd want to be, like, decelerating. What's this f effect? It's, I know it's just the physics warp in action, but it... It's ridiculous. Also... What I did was... I don't know what I did. Fuck it. Oh, no fucking way.
Is this even possibly in orbit? I'm pretty sure the atmosphere is just gonna grab us at some point. And we're 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 really quite low to Kerbin at this point. Uh whatever. What? And then abruptly that happened. Okay, that's very pretty, if nothing else. That's an orbit, more or less. Whatever. What's on the flight of this, just so it doesn't... Interesting, the standard tester unit 1 doesn't show up on my thing anymore. I wonder why that is. Uh... Well, we achieved literally nothing. 